Hey guys, so in this video we're going to look at how do you deploy a website on GitHub. So this video, I'm assuming that you already had created an account with GitHub. Um, if you haven't, then go to github.com and then sign up. Once you sign up, you end up on this page. Um, Basically, GitHub works as like kind of like the Google Drive of code um, in which you can create repositories. And repositories are like a bunch of code together. Um, and there's a, a special way that we can make it so that the resp a repository becomes publicly available on the internet. So the goal is to see how we create this repository, to see how we upload our files that are on our machine, like all the HTML and CSS and JavaScript that we had so far. How do we upload it onto GitHub and how do we activate that specific repository in order to make it publicly available? And then that's gonna be our website and that's gonna be our workflow for the rest of the semester. So we're gonna start by creating repository. Click here on the green button and the repository name, it can be anything, actually no, it cannot be anything. Um, it has to be a username. So in my case, my username is Pierre de Paz, the one you see here. And then it needs to be .github.io. So let's say your username is like um, Tony2046.github.io. Okay. For now, I'm just going to say pierredepaz.github.io. Description, you can say my personal website. It needs to be public because if it's private, then no one can see your code, which sometimes is a good thing, um, but also no one can see your website, which is gonna be a bad thing. And then we're gonna initialize this repository with a readme, which means it's gonna be a, just a text file which describes what's going on in the repository. And then if you wanna add a license, um, I usually use Creative Commons or Mozilla. They're all kind of nice. I like the unlicensed. The unlicensed is you can do whatever you want to with, with it. Um, we can talk more about licenses when we talk about um, remixing. Okay, so we create the repository, then some stuff happens, some stuff happens, some stuff happens. Bam! This is everything that we have. Okay. Now, we need to get this thing onto our desktop, onto our laptop. The way we're going to do this is by downloading GitHub Desktop. So I already downloaded it, it's here. I'm gonna open the zip file. And I have my app here. I'm gonna drag it into applications. And then I go to applications and I find GitHub, GitHub desktop, cool. Double click, make sure that it's a real app. Do I want to open? Yes, I want to open it. And then, cool. And now it finds all the repositories. And now you see, this is the one that I want to clone. I click, and then, oh, clone, clone, cool. And then you see, um, it said, by default, it's going to create it inside documents, GitHub, and then the name of the repository. And you see that this file here, for instance, pierredepaz.github.io, my personal website, bam, it shows up there. Okay, so these are the same files. Like the two guys that you see here are the same files as the two guys that you see here. The point now is to bring up um, the files we have, the HTML, the CSS, the things we worked on, onto this thing here. So to do that, we're going to put those files in there, in that folder. Um, so far, we've been working on the desktop. So let's say we're going to take the second collab example, and there's an index.html and a script.js. I take these two, and I'm going to do... Can you just do copy? Yeah, copy up. And then I'm going to paste them. 
Now, if I go back to, the, to GitHub desktop, it says, hey, see like those green things? You've added new files. Cool. So I found out that inside this folder, now we have new files, and GitHub is ready to upload them to the website. Uploading, basically, um, is a two-step process for GitHub. The first one is commit, which means, OK, so there's all these guys that I want to um, upload. I'm going to select all the ones that I want to upload. In this case, I want to select index.html and script.js. And then I need to give a message to the commit. To the commit. So uploading index and script. Cool. Then I commit. OK, so far so good. Um, everything that has changed is not ready to be uploaded. And the second part of the upload process is called push. So we have to push to what's called the origin remote, which essentially just means push to this website. I click on push origin, and then it says, hang on, hang on, hang on, blah, blah, it's doing this thing, um, uploading, need to hang on some more. Phew, OK, great. How do I know if it worked? I go back to that website, and then I click refresh. And now we have index.html and script.js that's here. If I click on this guy, we see that it's the same one. Amazing. OK, so now these guys, the files that I want are here, and index.html should show up as HTML. How do we make that happen? We make that happen by clicking on settings on the top right here. Click on settings, and then we're going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and we're going to set up what is called a GitHub Pages. And because we called it pierredepas.github.io, which is our username, .github.io, GitHub knows immediately, hey, we're actually going to turn this into a website. Cool, nothing to do. So what happens if I go to pierredepas.github? github.io. I press enter. And now I have the example we worked on for JavaScript accessible on the web right here. Cool. But let's say I actually want to have like black background and white font. So I need to add some CSS, right? How do I do that? Well, I need to have a CSS file in there. So I'm going to go on Atom. And these are the old files that we had. And I'm going to create a new one. New file. Style. Oops, no. <laughs> I'm going to save it first. And it's going to ask me, it's going to ask me where do I want to save it. So I don't actually want to save it inside Comlab 2 right now. I want to save it inside documents, github, pierredepas.github.io. These are the files that are going online. So I'm going to do style.css. And then in order to make something black, we say everything. So the body is going to have a background color of black. And it's going to have a color of white. And then what I need to do is to change the index.html to include the CSS. So I do link style, um, what is it? I forgot every time. Uh, link rel style sheet, yep. Rel style sheet href style.css. Cool. OK. So before we actually want to upload, we want to check. Right, because I see that I've made one mistake right now. But let's see. We check, we click on index.html, we open it, and it's still black and white. It's night white on black. Even though I did change this, right? It looks like this should be working. The reason it's not working is because the index.html that I'm working on is still inside here on the left part the comlab2 folder. So I'm actually changing the wrong index.html. This is a mistake that happens all the time 
especially when you're developing inside different folders, is that you think you're editing the right file, it's actually the wrong file, you don't understand why it's going on, and then you lose 10 minutes to 4 hours. Um, so always pay attention whenever you're changing something or you're actually changing the right file. That's like a legit issue. So I'm going to save this for now. I'm going to close those two scripts. I'm even going to go and say remove project folder. And I'm going to open my index.html. So I'm in the right folder, pair.bars.github.io. Here's the index.html. And here's this guy. Cool. I'm going to paste the style sheet, or the link to the style sheet. Go back to my test. Refresh. Bam! Black on white. Amazing. Cool. So this looks like it works. It works locally. It works on our machine. Now we need to upload it so that it works online on this website. Because now I refresh, still black and white. So I'm gonna, I'm done with this. I'm gonna close Adam. You don't need to close it when you upload to GitHub, but I close it for, um, so that it's clear. Go back to the desktop, and now we see two new things. We see a little green here that says, "Hey, this is a brand new file." It's the new style of CSS. It's the one that I created. GitHub never saw it before, and now it says, hey, okay, you're going to add a new file. Looks good to us. This guy here has a little yellow dot. It means that file existed, but you just changed that file. And it shows us, instead of showing us the whole thing, it shows us just the line that was changed. And it shows us, hey, you added like link rel style sheet, href style.css. Look at these two files. Looks good. And so we say added CSS white on black. Cool. And then th two steps again. Commit. Commit is done. Push. It's pushing to origin. We're hanging on. Sweet. It looks like it's done. Let's see what happens. Is it going to work right away? I'm not sure. Okay, so because it's uploading to GitHub, it actually takes a little bit of time for the public website to show up, right, or to refresh. Cool, okay, it worked, amazing. So you, saw, you see it took like a minute or two for GitHub to actually upload the whole thing, make it available to the internet, and blah, blah, blah. Um, and that's all you need to know. So the workflow is you create a file in Atom, in Atom, and then you see it appear on GitHub. You put a description here. You click Commit. And then you click Push to Origin. It pushes to Origin. You make sure your files appear here. We have our solid CSS here. And then if you go to this URL, I'm going to copy it, paste it here, press enter, and the website is here. Cool. That's all you need to know for GitHub for now. Same process, putting files, commit, push, putting files, commit, push.